Hi, I'm Barry Gardner from LNS Chip Blaster Service. Today we're going to show you how to change the bag filters on a Chip Blaster high pressure coolant system. People always want to know how often should I change my bag filters. Well, the Chip Blaster is smart enough to let you know when it is time to do that via the HMI right here. Or, as a preventive measure, you can change it every three months per the maintenance schedule. Another question we get is what size bag filters do I need? The tag right back here will tell you what micron filter that was shipped with. In this case, it's five. Also, I recommend using chip blaster bag filters and it will save you problems in the long run. Most of our units are sold with dual filters, which means if you get a filter alarm, you're most likely running filter A, and that's dirty. So in that case, you want to open up filter B, close filter A, and you can continue to run while you change the filter. With the ball valve closed going to filter A, we can now remove the lid with a 13 millimeter socket. You may notice this is not your typical lid. It's spring loaded and sealed, and this is to prevent coolant from going around the filter and straight into the machine. Next, we want to inspect the O-ring for any damage and replace it if needed. And then reach in by the strap, pull out the used bag filter, and directly dispose. And you want to take out the metal screen. And inspect it for any holes or perforations. When you're reinstalling the filter screen, make sure the seam is away from the chip blaster unit. When you get ready to insert the bag filter, you want to make sure it's an official chip blaster bag filter you could tell by the blue tag. Chip blaster bag filters also have a reinforced handle, double stitch, and really, really thick filter media. Make sure the bag is all the way down on top of the filter basket. Reattach the spring-loaded lid. Once you got your bolts lined up and started, just tighten. If your unit has our quick change filter option, Simple, just loosen up the eye bolts. And it's the same. All right, there we go. Now we know how to change the bag filters on a chip blaster high pressure coolant system. If you'd like to see any future videos, again, please always let us know.